Uh, the shoes I ended up bringing out here are these Montreal Odyssey running shoes. I didn't want waterproof shoes because I figured I'm going to get wet no matter what, so I might as well have something that will dry quick. The only reason I bought them was on eBay, they had like a defective pair where like just a little tab on it was off. Uh, I bid like 20 bucks and I won. Figured if they, you know, really fell apart quick, which all the reviews said they would anyway, um, I could just buy a new pair or hopefully they just last me the 200 and something miles. All the reviews were pretty much right. Tread's almost completely gone on here. There's a big hole here and here and coming off there. This is coming off too. But 20 bucks me really, what do you expect? And I'll probably buy a pair similar to these. Maybe a little bit higher rated. I'm not trying to like talk shit about Montrux. I mean they do make good shoes. And these were discontinued for a reason. But all it has to do is just last me like another 50 miles and I'm golden. And I will have saved myself like a hundred bucks. Alright, today's plan is to get past Pinchot. Uh, pass. And then get as close to Great Lakes as I can. It's about 16 miles today. Up, uh, Pincho Pass. I'd say in between Mather and Pincho has been my favorite part so far. I mean, just love this area. This area is amazing. I'll be really surprised if anything past this can really top it. Pass was amazing. Like I love that entire area. At Sawmill Junction, I saw a black bear, which I admit, like after last summer and working Yellowstone and all the times I saw bears, I really never wanted to see another one in the wild again. But I thought it was pretty cool to see. And I mean, if I would have gone the entire 220 miles in a bear territory, it'd been really impressive to not see a bear the entire time. Got to pass that uh, cool suspension bridge. I was pretty impressed by that. And uh, now I'm at Ray Lakes, about three miles from Glen Pass. Obviously I'm gonna do Glen Pass tomorrow. And then try to get as close to Forrester as I can. And after Forrester, then I'll be on Mount Whitney. So I'll be done in a couple days, which it's kind of bittersweet. Like I'm kind of happy that it's gonna be over. And part of me is just not like, I mean, I really really like just being out here uh, I am starting to smell really bad though <laughs> so tonight I'm gonna try to wash myself down I haven't really showered since Red Meadows but uh, everything's been awesome ever since Evolution Lake it's just some of the most beautiful things I think I've ever seen two weeks I've finally hit my body's limit I don't know if it was just the lack of sleep I got last night or the lack of food that I've had the past two weeks
took like a hour, hour and a half nap on the top of the pass. I feel a little bit better. It's an awesome view up here. Surprised I was actually able to get some sleep, but check it out. It's a long way over on the edge, but yeah, I feel better. Ten miles to go. Yesterday was probably the worst day that I've had out here. I really, I don't know what it was. I'm really glad that I didn't have to go like 17 miles, but I mean, it took me like all day to get here. I don't know if my diet's just catching up with me. I mean, I'm averaging about 2,000 calories a day over like a 10 or 12 hour day. So last night I only ate like half of my dinner and I was fine with that. I set some like mashed potatoes and like a little pudding dessert thing. I saved like this uh, Hoivos Rancheros meal for this morning and I've got some leftover sunflower seeds. So I'll have a lot more calories today. Tomorrow I'll be on Mount Whitney. I'll be done with the trail which is just insane to think about. And part of me is really excited to be done I don't know, man. I, I'm gonna miss it out here. I hope I get to do something like this again. Uh, all right, enough talking. It's Cuevas Rancheros time. Arriba! This is crazy. It's time I ask the viewers a very serious question. Have you ever seen a skinny awkward kid dance like an idiot on a 13,000 foot pass? If you haven't, you have now. No, I'm serious now. The extra calories have helped a lot. I feel a lot better today. And the views today have been incredible. That's it. Yes, son. It's a long way down there, Capitan. All right, now, I'm no weatherman, but it looks like on the forecast it's gonna be rain. This is like the fourth time this has happened. Hopefully it's not too bad. There's Forrester passed behind me. So look at that, there's more snow. Yeah. Uh, slushy slush. I wondered if the day would ever come. Whitney is in sight. Figuratively speaking. 16 miles, baby. 16 miles. Right, I'm pretty sure that's Whitney. Right there. That's my first glimpse of her. She's looking sexy. This has happened way too many times. I just had one more goddamn night out here. One more goddamn night. I had one more fucking night out here. And it's raining and I can't keep the water out. It's like four in the morning. I was gonna wake up at six, but it's not happening now. Oh, a stake down the sides. Seems to have actually worked. It's almost five o'clock now. Some force in the world does not want me to get to Whitney early. Status check. I uh, lost one of my contacts last night. My sunglasses are now officially broken. Everything's soaked, except for my sleeping bag. And at some point in the past couple days, I lost all my extra batteries for my video cameras. <sighs> Man, I'm just gonna try to pack up as quick as I can, get some breakfast, and then 
get the fuck out. Still kind of shocked that I'm actually here. <laughs> Through all the self doubt, the rain, the snow, the streams, the bear, the blisters, the constant being alone. Uh, I fucking, I made it. <laughs> it's bittersweet. Uh, do this again but uh it was quite the experience and uh I really wish I wasn't crying like a bitch right now. But it's just been a long 17, 18 days. I'm excited to get some real food I said this every night, but best meal I've ever had. <sighs> Here's the situation. I'm making it to Lone Pine tonight. It's probably around 7.30 right now. I'm gonna try to hitch a ride, which is about 10 to 12 miles to the nearest town. If I don't make it, I'm walking, man. Guess who made it to Lone Pine? <laughs> I still feel good about myself, even though I know that hundreds of people, thousands of people do it a year. 220 miles isn't anything compared to uh, 2,500 or whatever the Pacific Crest Trail is. Like those guys are incredible. They they're way better than I'll ever be. But this has opened doors to a lot of things. It was a hell of an experience, and I think if anybody out there is able to do something like this, do it. Because there's stuff out there that I can't describe, stuff that um, pictures and video cameras really can't do justice. It was awesome out there, and I'm thankful I got to do it. And that's it. Peace. <laughs>